Today I'm going to show you how to deal with eccentricity in Waven's Revit packages. As I showed you in one of the previous tutorials, standard Revit does not use eccentric reducers. Waven have created reducer families with capacity to not only apply but also modify eccentricity to suit your needs. This applies not only to straight reducers but also to super T families. Let's begin with straight reducers. Start by drawing a straight pipe, then change the diameter and keep drawing along the same axis. A custom fitting is created. Select it. You will notice a number of checkboxes in the family properties. These are the functions that have been programmed into the fittings to provide faster and more intuitive use of the functions. Apply eccentricity by selecting the eccentric function. As you can see, the reducers are changed into eccentric pieces. The flip eccentricity function will rotate reducers by 180 degrees. The rotate reducer function will allow a further 90 degrees of rotation. Combining these two functions allows you 0, 90, 180 and 270 degrees of rotation to fit your project's demands. Reducers in Super T families work in a similar way. Start by drawing a straight pipe and another one, connecting to it at 90 degrees. Some T-types have a predefined eccentricity, so you don't have to apply it yourself. Select the T-type and change it to a connection between two horizontal pipes. This connection requires turning the eccentricity on with the Reducer Eccentric checkbox. The direction of eccentricity can be changed with the Reducer Flip Eccentricity function. We recommend that the eccentricity should be applied after the whole system is modelled because eccentricity can interfere with Revit's slope functionality. This can be done easily using Wavin's validation view. Every centric reducer in the project is highlighted by a red filter, which makes it easy to locate them at a later stage of the project. Thank you for watching. Make sure you watch the rest of Wavin's tips and tricks videos.